How's it going everyone, it's me Vivi and welcome back to the channel, so maybe you've heard of this. Director and lead designer of Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy is working on a new project, it seems. And this is according to multiple articles, which surfaced a couple of days ago. Each of these articles say that Dan Tango's LinkedIn states that he's working on an unannounced project. Now a lot of you might say in the comments, but dude it's obvious, what is Tango going to do? Of course he's going to be working on a new project right now, fair point. But the point of this video is to further discuss the situation. So so what could it be? What could Vicarious Visions, assuming Tango is still working on Vicarious Visions, what are they up to? Judging by the success of the Crash remake slash remaster, I know a lot of people interchange the terms, but the point is, Crash was number one on Amazon for consecutive weeks in the UK. Seven weeks in a row at number one on top charts of UK. It sold over 2 million retail copies in just over a month. It was the highest selling remake on PlayStation 4 in 2017. So with all of this info present, what do you think? What I'm thinking is, the chances are it could either be a Crash related project, a Spyro Trilogy remake or something entirely different, aka a new IP. Now many of course are demanding Crash Team Racing or Spyro especially. Now let's get one thing out of the way, Vicarious is fully aware of the demands of Crash Team Racing at least. However, Tangway could also not be working at Vicarious Visions this time, therefore the project is completely different. Unless of course Crash and Spyro are handed over to another developer. It all depends on Activision, because they own the IP. Vicarious Visions was involved in multiple Skylanders projects, two GBA crossovers, Crash and Spyro, Orange Purple, and other Crash projects as well. Crash 2 Entranced, Nitro Kart, which was multi-platform and huge adventure. As for Dan Tangoy, he's worked on Skylanders, Superchargers, and the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. So, Tangway being, again, the lead designer at Vicarious Visions, take that possibility. Combine it with the fact that Vicarious Visions has history of Crash games. To top it off, add the sales of the Insane Trilogy. With all of these three infos combined, there's a high possibility that another Crash game is in the works, because they have experience with the series. It could maybe be another type of bundle. A lot of you guys have brought up in the comments section, hey, what if they make like CTR plus Bash plus Tag Team Racing? We never know, they could be working on something like that. But a lot of you are saying enough with remakes, it's getting really tiresome. Okay. I guess, but what would you say about a Spyro remake? Sure, it's another remake or remaster, I don't know what you call it, but it's not Crash, so technically it's a different project. Nothing was shown at PlayStation Experience, it was a very casual thing, I was pretty disappointed. Well, the announcement of Medieval was something, and talking about Medieval, Layden of course was wearing a t-shirt. At first I was like, okay, could he be wearing a Spyro t-shirt, but then I saw the white, I was like, nah. But here's what I'm thinking, sure we don't have news on a Spyro remake, but look what they did with Crash Bandicoot, they announced it during its 20th anniversary at E3 2016 and it got released in June 2017, so I'm thinking the same thing will happen to Spyro. At E3 2018 they will announce the game, just like Crash, close to its 20th anniversary and we could maybe expect a release in late 2019 or even early 2020, I'm not too sure because all I know is Spyro will take longer to develop, unless of course they've been working on Spyro for a very long time, pretty much under wraps, we never know. While a very long time sounds a bit much, maybe they've been working on it a couple of months ago already. And honestly I think we're all re-experiencing what we experienced with the whole Crash rumors thing, remember all of that? First, first four figures, company who makes a bunch of figures, they made one for Spyro, polystone, hand painted finish. They had to get permission from Activision and looking at this, it's Spyro's original model. So what is Activision thinking, right? This old tweet from 2016. Maybe Activision was already considering Spyro, but they decided to go with Crash instead. This photo if you remember, but a lot of people have been speculating PS All Stars 2 when seeing this, so not too sure on this one. Also Numskull, a company which released a bunch of merchandise for Crash in order to celebrate the launch. They stated that they are going to make merchandise for Spyro as well, coming in 2018. So what do you think? Do you think the chances of Spyro coming back to the PS4 is high? I sure do. Now what about Skylanders? What if Tangway's working on a new Skylanders? Or people call it Skylanders 7. Sure they have history with the IP, but remember in 2017 Activision said we are not releasing a new game on new consoles, they just announced the port of Imaginators to the Nintendo Switch. Now we just entered 2018, perhaps it's too early to tell if they'd consider another one 
fine. And they did admit that superchargers, the sales, had declined. So it seems like the Toys to Life market might uh, be declining as well. I mean, look at Disney. They put a stop to their Infinity series, which was a rival to Skylanders. There is, of course, the TV show on Netflix, which is still running. So maybe Activision might decide to do something completely different with the Skylanders franchise. And also, don't forget, CEO at Activision said that they're up for more remasters slash remakes. Fans should be confident that there will be more activity like that. So guys, I'm gonna end off this video by saying it's only a matter of time. So in the comments section below, tell me, what do you think Vicarious Visions is currently working on? A crash-related project, Spyro, or a new IP? Leave all of your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I've been Vivi, and thank you so much for watching.